What's up guys, CTV here, coming at you with another video. This time I'm doing something a little bit different. We're doing a crash cast. Uh, crash cast consists of a uh, few players found either on my friends list or online. Guardian down. This time it's going to be from my friends list. And I'm here joined by... Uh, my name is Drew and I go by the alias Ceremico. I'm XRVB. I'm Ginger Pikachu. Thanks. Goodbye, Jake. And I also have a roommate that I might add in every now and then. And yours truly, Man RVB. <laughs> uh, let's see if we can find this key. So, uh. Ooh, it's in the uh, middle by the truck. By the trucks? Uh, so, as you can see, we're going to have a little bit of uh, Destiny gameplay running in the background. This is when uh, we're doing the bounties for uh, the Queen's Wrath. We want to now, uh, we are offering rewards for the tools of our enemies. We're going to go into topic between uh, Destiny and other games. We're going to touch up on uh, personal materials if we uh, feel comfortable with it. And uh, stories that might just be entertaining for the group. Uh, Ermico, I know you have a topic that you'd like to touch up on first, so what would, uh, yeah, what would be that be? I wanted to discuss the rumored third classes for each class and uh, talk about gear that might benefit and complement them. Uh, all right. So, what is what is the so-called rumor for a third class? I know the Titans are supposed to be getting a solar-based class called Crusader. Hunters get a Void class called Void Trapper, and Warlocks are getting the Arc Thrower class. Well, rumored. Be. Rumored. Uh, in your opinion, and you guys' opinion too. Uh, what do you think of uh, this uh, third subclass? Do you think it would be a good idea or a bad? I think it'd be amazing. Gives the hunter a chance to defend and uh, control. Gives the titan a chance to actually deal damage. And the warlock is... I'm not really sure how I feel about it. In my opinion, it's... Uh, Two out of three bad. Yeah, uh, in my opinion, I, I don't see the third subclass coming out uh, anytime soon. Necessarily because of the, the balancing that's going to be having to be made with each character making sure that none they're gonna try to make it uh, as even as possible because uh, how the warlock came out uh, Sunsinger being very very OP with the radiance specifically on PvP with the one hit uh, melee and the infinite amount of grenades plus if you have the extended Radiance, you're you're gonna be running around the map, getting uh giving pe your own teammates orbs like crazy. Uh, but again, that's a, that's my own opinion. Well, how about you guys? How you, uh, Tax Caboose? You guys are uh, Destiny players. What do you, what is your opinion on that? My opinion on that, I mean, it'd be great. Uh, I give us another thing to work on. Like you said, you make exactly orbs for your teammates. Well or, done. Like if you're doing like a raid or like something. A strike like, or uh. The raid. Yeah, like a strike. Like you can make orbs and help out your teammates. And like giving the Titan another ability to work on. Yeah. Yeah, I, I I can see that. You're you're a you're a heavy heavy uh. <laughs> Titan player. I feel like it, in my opinion, I feel like it kind of balances it out. So like, if you're doing an ice ball, or it's something that has a specific damage type, you're just not like, oh well, I guess I can't do damage. Right. Now, no, yeah, that that's a. The only like text that it'll give you something to do, but it'll also give you an extra chance to like after the burn, you'll be able to do damage in that burn. Yeah, that is a very good uh, point there. The air is more in bounty that makes it so arc and solar, or you have to get kills with those skills. I feel like the hunter has 
an obvious advantage because those are their only. Yeah, there's uh two. There's two bounty. I actually I believe there's three. There's the kill. Uh, kill wizards with the camo. Kill uh enemies with precision knife throws. And there's one that the the warlock can do in general is uh kill with the with uh, arc ability. Right. So that having the yeah having the the extra ability would come in handy since you can do bounties that you couldn't do before. And as as uh, Caboose just said, uh, it would come in handy when a character does not have that specific subclass for the uh, nightfall, such as the uh, warlock wouldn't have arc damage uh, ability uh, with uh, this week's uh, nightfall. So uh, we. What a uh, omnigal. Right. So I mean, obviously, most people are gonna choose radiance uh, to have that extra life over uh, having the stronger ability. But in my opinion, having the having the ability will be a, a little bit nicer to get the the game going, such as doing it by yourself, because there's a lot of people that that like to solo the nightfalls. And uh, always do it on the on the warlock, so <clears throat> or have the that specific character to play on. Uh, I have a few friends that have uh, multiple of the same characters, such as a titan. I know uh, Tex here has uh, two titans and a warlock. I have two warlocks yes. myself. Yeah, so like it, it all differs between the players and the 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 way you use the the characters i myself i have all three characters max 32 so uh, working on a new ability would be interesting but i don't see it happening anytime soon uh, as i said before uh also excuse me man mm -hmm. can we move on to the next um oh yes yes yeah uh before so Okay. It's not here. Anything? Any topics that you guys? Any? Anybody else in the party want to hit? Uh, Tex, Ginger, anything that you you might want to put into this, or something else that you might have an interest on? Well, um, dang it, Ginger left, and I I just came back. Um, have y'all talked about the new? Silent Hills. Oh yeah, Silent Hills. That. Um, that. I, I'd like to know what what was the big deal about that. Like one. Like I know the guy left, but like I'm completely unaware leave. of this. By the way. Oh yes. For uh okay. Uh, just give me a quick second. <clears throat> but yeah, I mean, they canceled it because of one of the creators. Was it creators or developers? left quit I guess he quit his job or something okay so Silent Hills uh, so for who for who doesn't know on uh, PlayStation there was this game called PT which stands for play uh, playable trailer and for beating the game uh, you get to see the title of the game which is Silent Hills now the fact of the matter is it says Hills there's an S at the end so in in a general in a general perspective the Silent Hill franchise was set to be in a cross-dimensional uh, process so like literally you would be skipping through time and other worlds to where you are which is Silent Hill but in that one was supposed to mean that you can travel between other worlds at a given time. At least, yeah, it, it kind of reminds of uh, those type of games. But in my in my perspective, that's what I know. I I've only played, I believe, two Silent Hills Silent Hills games, and uh, Silent Hill games, and. Uh, they're they're fantastic. Camera can do a little bit of work. I like the the fact that in the PT uh, gameplay you can do first person. 
that's something that they they put a put a new spin on they're doing first person view but the problem is the game just got canceled now uh the the facts are kojima that's the the name of the developer yeah uh kojima productions no longer in development I was wondering, like, why were they, why did they stop development? I mean, uh, from what I have read before, and I can look, I can look up some information here uh, to try to put more in depth on this conversation. Uh, the Kojima and Konami have split up because there is a problem between what Kojima was doing to monetize the game. Like, uh, but that's that's from my knowledge. I, I'll have to read a little bit more into it to see what I can find. Uh, I have a ad he I have a, a, a report here. You guys, you guys talk about something else while I'm, I'm reading here. As for the next topic of discussion, um, I don't know. Is there anything uh, else? Um, Uh, House of House of Wolves. How about House of Wolves? Your expectations on uh, the way the the the. I am so stoked for the Trials of Osiris. Yeah, the 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 way that the opinion. What are your opinions on the way that that's gonna work? Because you're supposed to get an invitation to just go into the Trials of Osiris, and then in in the trials you do a three v three. That are a little. Uh, gray you know we don't really know mm -hmm. much about the passage coins and uh it'll be interesting to see if that's just like a strange coin just exclusively to currency but the passage part of it is a little discerning mm -hmm. i'm worried that you're going to need a passage coin just to attempt the trials of osiris and i i mean i i play destiny all the time but i'm just still not that good at it so i'm worried that I'm going to have an even harder time. Uh, for those who are listening that don't know about the Trials of Osiris, Trials of Osiris is a 3v3 elimination game uh, game type on the House of Wolves release. Now, the way that it works is that a team of three, uh, as I said earlier, 3v3, uh, teams of three will face off each other and will try to eliminate each other. Respawn is available. The only problem is that uh, you have to get picked up. If you do not get picked up, you are uh, dead, dead, dead completely. And if the entire, if your entire team gets cleared off, the round is over, and the other team wins that round. And I believe there is five rounds to win. Uh, be uh, because uh, for every for every round you get a specific point. And uh, on the Trials of Osiris, uh, well, not the Trials of Osiris, in the House of Wolves update, they're going to fix the uh, reward system for PvP. You're going to see more uh, more legendaries drop, possibly more exotics uh, for fair players, people that actually have uh, done good. And as I, as as er, uh, Aramico was saying uh, he's not a, a top-notch player. I'm gonna say it as lightly as possible, but uh, don't worry about it. You can say I suck. Uh, he's not a top-notch player, but he is consistent player. He plays uh, PVP in uh, good fashion. He's a good call-out player. I I have experience with uh, him specifically, and uh. I can see Yumi and Huge being a, a, a good team oh, yeah. to do a uh, set thing, but I I would definitely try to practice more at PvP before going in, attempting to go into that. Uh, a lot of Crest of Alpha Loopies are going to be in use. Yes, Crest of Alpha Loopies, uh, Light Beyond Nemesis, all those type of quick pickup uh, armor pieces. and. Hopefully, there will be less charging of shotguns, I would see. 
obviously you're gonna find a lot of uh, uh, Phil Winters lies because the, you can never get rid of that shotgun. Or should I say Phil Winters sniper because that thing has so much range. I need to apologize, by the way. I was mistaken. I did not mean to say Trials of Osiris. I meant the uh, the Horde mode that they're adding. Oh, uh, Prison of Elders. That one. That's the one I'm looking forward to the most. Okay. That's the reason why I'm going to be staying up until midnight tonight to try to download it as soon as possible. Uh, yeah. The the as soon as that update gets dropped, which is going to be uh like around five my time uh, our time. It's going to be uh. A little bit of a, a task to get there and do the, the things that you need now a thing that I that I've learned recently is that if you can actually go with the recent update that just happened you can go to your uh, armor and or weapons and if you check the material oh. details it'll actually <laughs> show you the the materials that you you need to ascend them such as, let's see, I, I just inspected my uh, same 14, but it doesn't have it just yet uh, because it's an exotic. Uh, my uh, battle cage uh, from the Vault of Glass armor, if I go to the detail materials, there you go. Relic iron, commonly found among the ruins of Mars, and etheric light, obtained from Nightfall Strikes, the Prison of Elders, and awarded from renewed performance in the Trials of Osiris. There's your description for that material. How to get it is d just right there. And the fact that you can actually mount that armor all the way to 34 is astonishing me because I want to get that armor to 34. I've long I have liked the the Vault of Glass armor for a good good while. I've ne I have not gotten rid of too much of the armor before. Obviously replacing the armor was needed. And uh, ranking up was going to be uh, the first thing in mind. But now that they're releasing this and they're keeping the uh, House of Wolves raid for later in the future, I can see a lot of 34s coming up. But there's going to be a lot of mixture between armor now. There's not going to be a lookalike between other players. Right. Updating Lakshmi. Yesterday I was uh, playing the raid and I was in the tower a few times and I saw a few warlocks that looked exactly like I did. I saw a few uh, titans that had the same armor as I did, uh, shader and all. And uh, I can't wait until that goes away because uh, not everybody likes to put their own build. And it, it's kind of depressing the fact that you got to have a specific set of armor to be the specific rank and then knowing that everybody else is going to have that same armor. I overheard a friend of mine saying that his plan is to actually purchase the Dead Orbit armor and then buff that up to level 34. That way he exclusively has only the two stats that they buff and he can not wear a shader and still be all black. First. Oh yes, but you can, you can still get a... I believe it's called a Revenant shader. And yeah. uh, be all Red black, shader, which makes any armor black. But. Yeah, and uh, there's the the few people that have the uh, blacksmith uh, shader, which is a black, white, yellow type combination. On the on the titan, it's all black, yeah, I believe, and then just a few little scouting. details here and there that are uh, dead uh, you mean uh, yellow. The uh, Call of Duty pre-order one. I believe so. I don't recall the actual name of it because I saw it a few times here and there. <coughs> but I've never seen it. I've only read about it. But I know the colors are black, yellow, and white. Which sounds cool. Yeah, but the the black is the dominant color, so that's the way you see the most. And uh, here here's a here's a little going back to Silent Hills. Here's a little uh, detailed uh, description of what happened. Oh. Konami separating from the other company. Uh, the situation involving uh, Hideo Kojima. Uh, uh, I'm sorry if I mispronounced that or butchered it in any way, shape, or form. Uh, the Metal Gear Solid uh, publisher Konami is a self. It's a little different. 
Uh, Kojima is still actively working on the MGS game for Konami, and yet it's, uh, it appears the two have already planned their split upon this, uh, this game's uh, cancellation. So, from what I'm seeing on this uh, description is that they, they're, they've been at a little bit of a feud for a good while now. And they're, they have the final Metal Gear Solid uh, game in down. production. Most likely hidden behind a uh, close wall. Not, not a big surprise because there's many games that set apart to on it's been it's been put to disclose uh kind of like destiny from bungie it was it was always a little bit of a hint there here and there kind of like the poster on halo 3 odst it was it was right yeah. very obvious uh They had Destiny planned for a long time. Yeah, they, they had Destiny planned since uh, since way before... Uh, Halo 2, right? Yeah, since way before Halo 3 even came out. <clears throat> but their contract uh, was to make a 10-year ten uh, game. That's where the Halo franchise come up, came up. They Their final game being Halo Reach, given, uh, given the rights of the Halo franchise to 343. In my opinion, they should have stuck with the what they did best, which is Halo. But I can see them doing uh, doing what they did to just branch out more. Destiny was more of a hit and uh, hit and miss type situation because the 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 game was mainly so published and so put out because of hype and that's one thing that most people do not want to have is uh get uh the game pushed out by hype and then get nothing in the end this game delivers in some ways but not in the f at its fullest i know for a fact that there was supposed to be a lot more uh a lot more story to it and that's where the grimmer score comes up. Uh, the your there's your story that you need. Sadly, they they had to take it off of uh, the game itself. And the two planets that we're supposed to get on the comet were supposed to be there from the start, but got removed later on. Why did they did that? I don't know. It's the developers developer's choice. But in my opinion, I'm more than certain if the everything would have stayed in the 85 percent of the story uh story that was supposed to be in the game and the two extra planets that we were supposed to have plus their moons uh we would have done a lot a lot better as uh, uh players on this game and consumer uh not consumer uh what you're saying does make me wonder something though yeah i know that the PlayStation consumers can hold up to some insurmountable like 60 gigs apparently but the xbox disc can only hold like eight so i wonder if it's a matter of data because we have had already like three or four gigs and just in updates mm -hmm, yes uh, that is true like they're the so it's possible it's, that just couldn't fit on the disc at least for us on the 360. yeah it, it all comes down also to the uh the p wolves are prowling uh it, it it does come out to the, as you said, the the different consoles. Limitation. The yeah, the limitation on different consoles such as the Xbox 360, PS3, PS4, and uh, Xbox One. The Xbox One and the 360 uh, have their own little stats on what they can take, what they can't, uh, and the PlayStation that uh, has their own. I understand just like the the vault space that's one thing that that they have they wanted to fix but they can't expand it too much because of graphical uh situations and uh to compensate with the 360 they made it the amount that it is so the xbox one and playstation have the same situation they're not going to get that much but they're not going to get too little it's just enough to 
the, the PS3 and the 360, we still cannot uh, compare items in the vault to what we currently have. Oh yes, yeah, so they. But yeah, they they, I, I, they again the graphical the graphical material to uh, uh it's it's essentially having too much too much to view on screen. The Xbox 360 specifically cannot take that much. And uh <clears throat> it comes to a limit when it comes to old generation consoles and then new generation. I'm more than certain if they do cancel at some point, which I hope they never do because I love playing on my 360 and I don't want to I don't want to transfer just because of uh the fact that they they removed my favorite console right. out just right. to push more uh inventory into another uh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Until another one. Just because that's happening, I don't want I don't want the fact that they're doing they're going to expand on other games because they're removing the Xbox one uh they're removing the Xbox 360 and putting up the Xbox one only now. But Microsoft is making too much money off of the people that already are on Xbox 360 and still are in a way. Not saying that is is they're the bad they're the bad guys not not saying that it's a it's a company that that is producing content and material for everyone and you got to you got to put the food out for the for the people if you don't put out if you don't put out the thing that you, that they want such as game free products and uh the ability to watch stuff get stuff for free get stuff uh uh, early access. They're they're not gonna bother staying on the console, and that's where you get people uh, moving to other. God damn it, he moved away. There we go. He's blinded. There we go. <laughs> uh, if they do it for any pro, uh, at any moment, just for that, I don't see the Xbox One going any more successful because of the pricing it has at the moment. It's still at the over 300 price. The fact and of the matter is, yes. if they try pushing everyone to the Xbox One, I've already sworn my allegiance to the PS4. I, I've I've told my friends, I've told my clan before. From the Xbox One. Yes, I've I've told my I've told my friends and I've told my uh, clan members before. If at any points they do at any point they do remove the servers for, play uh, not PlayStation, uh, Xbox. 360 I will go PC gamer. I will I would completely convert to PC gaming because I I do not like the way that the uh PSN servers work. They crash too much. They're too weak towards uh towards uh sense system management and stuff like that like uh keeping your con yeah, security not up here. All right. Well, they're supposed they allegedly beefed up their security, especially after that "quote unquote" iCloud hack. Yes, but fluke. It's PSN, dude. I I can only say so much. <clears throat> Honestly, I haven't had any problems with PSN. I owned a PS3 for like mm. two or three months, but I just wasn't impressed by it and traded it in for two tattoos. I've had yeah. I've had uh oh, is that it? Up here. Or is this just a random? This is a random one. But, um, yeah. Like, go back fine. to the Xbox One. Like, you know how you were saying, like, they're pushing, they're not going to try to push? Well, they're having issues with the Xbox Ones and stuff. They're still trying to get them up to date. Like, having, like, purchased content error and, like, Yes, I've I've heard a lot about that. A lot of people are losing money because they would be buying stuff online on the Xbox One and then losing their money and not getting the item they purchased. Even though they would go to the website and see if the purchase went through, which it says it does, but it does it does not show on the Xbox at all. As in my opinion, I've, I've heard of that. I say, uh, like, I've been having some purchase problems, and I've contacted them, and they say that they believe it has something to do with the Xbox. They kind of 
run two consoles at the same time. Yeah, they're trying to have two server uh, server contents running at a, sa uh, a simultaneous uh, motion. So they they literally have the Xbox 360 uh, base on uh, one side running 24 hours a day uh, going through almost the entire world while you only have certain continents that have uh, even even at this moment I believe there's only uh, a few states that have uh, the Xbox one because of a, such low uh, buying rate on it uh, really yeah like the the Xbox ones for one the pricing not many like found it as interesting. Only the people that can afford it. I mean, I can I can afford one, but I would rather not buy one at the moment because I can just wait until they fix all the kinks on it in the for the future, and I can buy one that's actually good. And two, now this is uh, still my opinion. There's still they're still developing games for the console, so there's not as much uh, new content for it. There's just old. Old stuff that uh, is getting remade to go onto that console, and then uh, just a few games. Um, I know I'm probably being rude, but I'm back. All right, welcome back. We're on Venus. If you want to join up with us. Yes, we just finished one of them. Comment on your comment about you know, basically just machining out games that have already been made. Yes. Um. Public event. I know my mom. Actually, <clears throat> likes good. to play the Halo franchise. She's a really big Halo fan. And yes, has yes. Every single one, save Spartan Assault, because let's come on. Yeah, and for me, from uh, and just uh, just a quick pause on that. Uh, Spartan Assault and Halo Wars. Halo Wars. In my opinion, they're not Halos. They're not Halos, in my opinion. But uh, you can. Yeah, you, you can you go ahead. My mom solely bought at Xbox One, and she she admits that it was reluctant. Like she just didn't want to do it, but she had to just so she could play her game Halo. Yes. She owns two 360s still, but she had to go and buy an additional piece of hardware just because, you know. The game is getting transferred to the next thing. Yeah. There, there. It's it's all about pushing pushing the content to the next stuff so people can start buying it. I don't appreciate the fact that they're doing that, such as 3 for 3 pushing the game onto Xbox One only now. Because uh, if it, if uh, the Master Chief Collection in Halo 5 uh, Guardians was out for the 360, I wouldn't have mind buying it. Uh, giving it a try on that and playing it for myself, I would have I most likely uh, bought and played it. But they literally lost customers because of only putting it out for three six uh, Xbox One. Excuse my asking, but may I ask what we are discussing now? Uh, the the fact of what would you do and or your opinion on Xbox One towards three sixty and or PlayStation and Xbox uh, <clears throat> marketing. My standpoint is. The PS4 is basically the master console right now, but that's only for the rich. Yeah, again, yeah, the the new next generation consoles are way overpriced in my opinion, and need I I am more than happy to wait another year and a half to then see that yeah. price go down to like 250 at the most, and I'll buy it because that's as much as I would actually waste on a. a a console that is most likely still broken, even though it's been a year more um, after like that. All the red rings that still happens they have and everything. Yeah. Announced or so my sister's heard from her work where she works around a bunch of people that own, you know, and work in that franchise. Mm -hmm. They said the PS, I think the PS4 is going down to 300, and the Xbox One is going down to 250. See, now that that would be reasonable. I wouldn't. By Christmas. <clears throat> well, yeah, of course, by Christmas. That that would be reasonable, but it's because of the fact that again, it's not being it's not yeah. being sold it's as much as possible. Right. So if they don't put down the Wait. price as much as possible, to where it's at least reasonable that they'll get money, they'll get people to buy it, and they can push their the the 
production out for uh, the consumer, such as us, uh, then they're going to start getting the money back that they're losing every day that no consoles being sold. Again, only I believe at this moment only a few states have the Xbox One that are being used. Most of them are just being YouTubers. YouTubers in general just get the console because it's the next next hot thing. Get the games that are the latest out and are being more uh, pronounced for from players and or uh, <clears throat> their public. And that's why what the public wants is what the public should get. But again, it all comes down to the consumer. I, if I would get an Xbox One to just play it for my fans, what would be the point of me getting an Xbox One over playing the, X, uh, the Xbox 360 when it's the same content? And it's just lo less render. I mean, my opinion, next-gen consoles, I don't see what's the difference. They're practically the same. I've seen the graphics of them. Yeah, of course they're like. Yeah, they're they're the still not way too impressed enough they're, to spend an arm. At, at a, a but we gotta yeah. At a point, we're at that point. The on the fact that <clears throat> the way we see technology is not impressing us anymore because we've already seen yeah we we've already seen so far ahead. Of what we can do um, that is not pushing as much thought on why would sh why would we get this item if it's not if it's the same as this other one and it's cheaper. But hey, if yeah, if Microsoft or Sony are listening to this at all, um, might want to get working on that smell vision. Then I have a reason to actually get. <laughs> 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 or maybe you can shoot out ah. air, you know, like the 4D theaters back in the day. Oh, I dude, fourth 4D videos. And in theaters. my opinion, it's not worth it. See, we have a we have we have a, a person right here that has an Xbox uh, One. He's a clan. He's one of my clan members, and he he's saying himself right here. It's not worth it. It's not worth it. This is Banshee back at the time. Even playing my mom's Xbox One, it would just infuriate me. Like, it's so counterintuitive. It's the opposite of what I expect. To Wolf be is Perlin. <clears throat> like, if they want my money, then they should give me a reason to, you know, spend it. Not make me more frustrated. Oh, yeah. that That's a very, very big, uh, big thought right there. Like, why would, why would you bother wasting your cash on, uh on a thing that you're going to use less than the something new that you're going to use less than the old thing I, I, in my opinion that's the way that i see it why would i waste my cash on a uh an xbox one that's going to cost me twice as much as i i uh, bought my xbox 64 when i know i'm going to use the twice as much out of it yeah and not and i'm going to use the xbox uh 360 more than i'm going to use the, the xbox one it's just, it comes down to, like, logic and personal preferences. You don't even need a college degree for that math. <laughs> the, uh... Uh, we're coming out, we're coming down to our, uh... Uh, our last few minutes here. Uh, one last thing that I wanted to talk about was, um... How does the what what is your opinion on uh, uh, the gun gun laws that are happening right now? Because I've I just yes I've just seen a video not too long ago of uh, a man he was uh, now not this is not on uh, racial preference or anything like that. It's all about the 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 law itself. I saw a video on Facebook that got shared a few times and it got to my wall. It was a white man carrying a AR-12, uh, AR-15, my bad, Ooh. around and <laughs> sorry, uh, he was just carrying it and seeing a, a, doing a, a test. Now white man, 
carrying a t uh, carrying the gun around, showing uh, showing it off, and he's recording. There's three people with him. <clears throat> or there's three people uh, that are recording him, uh, him included, and uh, officer stops right in the middle of the road, comes up to him, walking fine, walks up, just hand on gun, just making right, sure you, like nothing's it. happening. They're out, he's asking him, "Why are you carrying this uh, AR around?" Blah blah blah, and it's like, uh, "I got my laws, I got my papers, uh, I got I got my uh, my papers, my ID right here." Uh, I'm in full obligation to be able to carry this around if I need to or if I want to and the officer leaves him alone I found the chest by the way uh, and then the clip goes to a same gun same place the only difference is, is a African American that has the gun the uh, an officer passes an officer passes by Sees the man with the gun, immediately stops in the middle of the road, blocking blocking traffic. Gets out of the gets out of the car and immediately points the gun at the man. Doesn't ask any question. Doesn't come up to him uh, with no. Uh, not as calmly as the first officer did. I mean, yes, there are different officers that react differently to the situation, but I see the fact that there there were. Uh, doing a yeah they were profiling they were doing a racial uh stance on that man specifically only because he was dark skinned like i don't know uh me being hispanic in a uh, sense i don't find it as as uh Occasion, i'm offended yeah I, I i don't find it as much of a surprise because of how modern day people are I mean, race, uh, racism is still out there and whatnot, but the fact of the matter is that you can't judge somebody so quickly on the fact of they, oh, they have a gun. Let me just immediately try to defend myself and defend others that are around just because I see them. Do you, okay, the first officer immediately walked up and asked them, do you have your, do you have a license for this? Do you have blah, blah, blah. Yes, the second officer doesn't even bother to ask him any anything. He just immediately tells him to get on the ground. What what is what is that? I I have something I would like to say that's similar but not identical to where you're going. I think. Yeah. Um, I was just having I was having a discussion with one of my friends the other day, where uh, we were talking about in Florida if we don't wear our seat belts. We are liable to be pulled over for that and given a ticket. For oh, yes, yes. My, uh, me living in Florida, I know about that. I told her, if I get pulled over for not wearing my seatbelt, I will tell the cop, okay, well, then where's my free gun? How are you going to tell me that it is illegal for me not to protect myself and then not give me the means to protect myself? Yes. It kind of, and that, that also reminds me to the... That uh, I get rem uh, I get reminded of this uh, a few times. So whenever I'm on Facebook, it immediately comes up to my mind. The a, the gun law situation is very very hectic at the point at, at this moment, especially in Florida, and uh, the way it's being seen with the with minors being seen with toy guns. Such as the the child that got killed by two officers. Gun? Yes, the twelve year old the twelve year old that got killed by two officers that assumed he had a real gun while he was in a park with other children. His brother right there, and uh, pop tart and yelling bang. Yes, that that is. People jump to assumptions too quickly to realize what they're doing at the last second. I mean, oh, I can even dance around what we've been talking about again and bring up Trayvon Martin right here in Florida again. Mm -hmm. I have um, something to add to that. There's this kid, up, it was down here, it was for Halloween, which is understood. He dressed up as a cowboy. And his mom, he wasn't even in, nowhere, he was in his own house. And his mom posted a picture, you know, like him, like, prop, 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 propping with a, you know, fake gun. 
Oh the yeah. School expelled him because his mom posted a picture of that on Facebook. It was the brother and sister, and they were holding airsoft rifles, and they got banned from prom and uh, expelled. I remember reading about that. I saw the picture, too. It was also no, because one, they were profiled because a, they were of um, Middle Eastern descent. Oh, no, this one, it was a six-year-old boy with, with a cap gun. Don't even oh. shoot plastic pellets. And he was just propping up for Halloween. Never went to the school, never went to a public area with it, just left it at home and trick or treating after that. His mom posted a picture of it on Facebook, and they expelled him from the school and said he could not come back. Now that's that's one thing that I ne that's one thing I never liked. It's connecting. That's what mom's doing too. <clears throat> yeah, the fact the fact that uh, some parents, not saying that mine never did that, but some parents that connect them the their children and whatnot with the their schools on the social media and stuff like that. Facebook, Twitter. Instagram stuff like that. That's personal. That's personal uh, material usage. That's nowhere near to be connecting with schools and stuff like that. Like you're you're not gonna send the teacher a message over Facebook saying my kid's not gonna come over. Into that too. Regards to the enemy, Titan. Uh, like that parent should have no right, or the school should have no right. Right. To be in. Yeah. He was just having fun. That is, you're you're out of the school area. And it's, it, it's, it's not like anyone else's life is endangered, but your own, even if it were a real gun. Yeah, and and the and the process of the matter is that there's also the fact the the child was in a picture in his own in his own home taking the picture with his mom. Her his mom posted the picture, and they expel him, nonetheless. That. The the way that that logic works makes no sense. I was about to say, yeah, it, it seems like, aren't we supposed to be going to school to learn not to be that moronic? Like, he's, his mom is putting the picture up. Not him. He's not pointing the gun at anybody. He's just propping up, making like he's a cowboy, and showing off while his mom takes a picture of him. Yet, he gets, he gets thrown out. Advocate? Oh well, yeah. Devil's advocate, though, I mean, if it is a minor, the minor doesn't have a say in a lot of their own. Yeah, that that's a problem. The that's a problem with uh, nowadays situations. Like since most most kids that get into pro uh, legal problems like that that are under eighteen, they they have no word on the situation that might come up. <clears throat> I'm looking for guardians who can handle a few fallen for us. You in. And it really disappoints me in a way because I'm pretty sure the child, most children nowadays have a lot to say about the, some, obviously some not good, some not, uh, some good, some not good, so good on the, the thoughts on their heads because they're not thinking as clear as a, a little bit more grown adult, but it's still their thoughts. Let them speak, let them put out their point and see what you can do after that. Because they, the, I'm pretty sure th the child never had a chance to, to speak his mind about the situation, right? No. He just uh, came to school, said he got expelled and got thrown out, right? Mm -hmm. See, never gave the child a chance to do anything. What happened was, well, like she posted on, I think she posted on Facebook and the school saw it and they got a phone call saying that you're, there was like, the way they worded it was like, your son's not allowed to come to the school anymore. That school got sued, majorly. And I see that as a, a, a proper response towards uh, what just happened, because they're, they have no legal obligation to actually throw a child out for social material. That uh, they, they have no business on putting their nose in the mother and or child's uh, business and specifically to their media. Halloween. Well, again, to play devil's advocate one more time, um, there is also um, some private schools. Like I know there's one. Excuse me a second. Where they actually <laughs> ask to be a part of the parents' Facebook profiles like that, so they can monitor their profiles and their pictures like that. But I mean, if the school made that agreement with this mother, then 
this entire conversation is moot. Yeah, you got you got a very the contract. You you got a point, but it's a. This wasn't though. It was just a public school. Yeah, then I don't understand that at all. And and uh. And a little bit of a, a another view of that is the the way that the social media has been working lately. It's it's been a little bit out of place because of <clears throat> viruses that have been going through some uh, some uh, websites that you can get linked to on uh, Twitter and Facebook stuff like that, and also fake profiles that you can find on. Uh, on uh, other accounts that might have been stolen, stuff like that. Like that, that's been happening a lot more lately, and it, it's kind of kind of interesting the way that that hackers are a lot more common than you can uh, you can just see from Xbox or PlayStation. Right, it's yeah. like you don't only hear that from just uh, those type of things. I mean, there was the uh, the whole. Uh, where where are they called the Christmas Christmas the uh, uh the attack on Xbox Live lizard or Microsoft oh, yeah, yeah. the Lizard Squad that they were they were just uh, a group of punks that literally had no business with uh, Microsoft but they just wanted to they just wanted to mess with it and they did it dur right. during the month of uh the most ongoing gaming uh <clears throat> of time of the year yeah and they just wanted and to like they, i mean they was thinking too much and they wouldn't like in my opinion i'll say this they was stupid because they think that they're going to take down a major company which as a security team security team plus they're getting they're getting help from uh Anonymous. Squad. Yes, anonymous. That is a. They like even. Anonymous get in on that. that oh, they were. Like them at all? No, they 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 love playing <laughs> Xbox. They're <laughs> Xbox users. Yeah, but why would they attack Xbox then? No, they weren't attacking Xbox. They were attacking Lizard Squad. That was helping. They were helping okay. Microsoft. I am tracking now. Lizard Squads and then giving it to the federal agents. And right, right, right. The federal agent was that was tracking them down, and they got every. Well, um, I know they got the leader. They got some of the um, uh, accomplices. Yeah, accomplices uh, that they were hiding out in some specific areas. <clears throat> and the the way that they they work themselves is not as uh, proper as they should. They're they're trying to just threaten a major company that's not gonna back down from just a couple of guys behind the computer screen because that's essentially what every what every death threat uh insult and stuff like that comes from is behind a computer screen so say it'd be a video that you have made a uh a game you're playing against another team you're beating them reasonably uh with a reasonably good score and they're just co insulting you constantly family members insults uh mom insults some usual stuff that you can hear me Sorry, you kid don't do this you me, won't get anywhere yeah to in a in a sense some people will react to it differently than others i don't react to it, to it as much anymore because i've grown out of it i don't get as mad at other players when it comes to them insulting me because I could really care less of what a 12 year old uh, squeaker has to say about my mom when I know that nothing they're saying is true and I'm old enough to make a better joke than what they can. And I know the fact that I can make friends for the fact that I, they're actually going to stay friends over just insulting uh, a random kid, have them a friend for a week and then immediately get deleted and have nobody else to play with. <clears throat> What I wanted to say though is, hate is real, pain is real, and love is real. You can you can choose how you want to act with other people. Just treat others how you want to be treated. Golden rule. Yeah, like, I to be honest, my clan members, they're complete idiots. 
Every single one of them are idiots, but I love them. <laughs> but at least the, yeah. his, one of the people he's quote unquote insulting is laughing about it. This guy right here. I do. This one right here. He he's a dumbass. Just for, just for making laughs. Yeah. But he's still a, just for making laughs and stuff. Caboose here, the one that's AFK. He, I I I play with him a lot. He's a dumbass, but I still play with him. I still like him. He's a good friend. Come look at me. All right, you have the ball on top of your head. I know. Yeah. <laughs> just saying, like. Wow. We uh. Oh, and it's we, gone. Like. We'll insult each other, but like it's just because we're free. It's, it's, yeah, we're just we're, playing around. It's understood that it's not meant to be hurtful yeah. or spiteful. Ouch. I believe I ran. Yep. Yep. I ran into a scorcher cannon. <sighs> the. Alright. I, I feel like that was a good, uh, good, good first one. A little bit of mishaps here and there. But I'm glad you guys managed to join me for this. Not everybody got to stay. If only Huge and uh, Ginger got to uh, run with us a little bit longer, but in the end, it was, it was a good podcast. Thank you for joining me. Oh, so you stopped recording already? Nope. But oh, we're still recording? Yes. <laughs> Hi, Mom. I love you. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you got to give, give the outro, bro.